afternoon, baseball fans. This is Mel Allen with Red Barber, greeting you for the Gillette Safety Razor Company, maker of world-famous Gillette razors, blades, and shaving creams. Fans, for the tops in sports, tune in Gillette's cavalcade of sports the year around. Every Friday night, Gillette telecasts the major boxing event of the week. And as they occur, leading events of turf, diamond, and gridiron for your entertainment. The final game of the 1952 World Series. And I know that you're anxious to know the official identities of the starting pitchers. And so quickly, quickly we go right down to the playing field and show you, as you would expect, right-hander Joe Black of the Brooklyn Dodgers, as previously announced by Chuck Dressen, making his third appearance in this series as a starting pitcher. He's won one and lost one. And for the Yankees, the issue is no longer in doubt. It's going to be left-hander Eddie Lopat. So that manager Casey Stengel, hard-pressed for a starting pitcher for today, as a result of having to bring in Allie Reynolds yesterday in relief, said he had to sleep on it. And then he came up with the Lopat today. Eddie with three days rest. Coming in to pitch against a Dodger lineup, which is predominantly filled with right-hand batters. The Dodgers have not had too much trouble with left-hand pitchers, particularly here at Abbott's Field. But Casey Stengel had to come up with somebody, and it's Eddie Lopat on the mound. Eddie lost his first World Series game when he opened the series at the Yankee Stadium last Friday. So we'll see what's going to happen in this final game of the World Series, one of the most dramatic ever played. And by the way, before we go into the batting orders and other pertinent data, 